What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Stephanie, and today I'm gonna be showing you my top five favorite red lipsticks. If y'all know me, you know I am a red lip fanatic, so today I'm gonna be showing you my current favorites. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood, no matter your true pronoun or gender identity. Come join the family. All right, let's get into it. I'm not gonna be doing this in any particular order, but this is the one that I've been using the most lately. This is the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle Plush Matte Lipstick in Madame. I absolutely adore the formula of this lip color. It is so smooth, so velvety, and very opaque. So go ahead and apply. <laughs> As you can see, that was a dream to apply. Just a few swipes and I feel like it's just on there. It's so, so opaque. The finish is matte and comfortable. It just looks velvety and beautiful for a very long time. This is one of two just regular lipsticks that I'm gonna show you in this video. So it is not like kiss proof at all, but it does have a very long wear time. The second red lip we got going is the Marc Jacobs Le Marc Lip Cream in 200 Oh Miley. This is also a lip color that I've been using a little bit more recently. I feel like the Fenty Beauty one is a little bit more of a blue red and I feel like this is more of a true red. Hopefully y'all can see the difference. Again, so easy to apply. I feel like this one's a little bit more pinky red. Obviously the finishes are a little bit different. That one goes to more matte. This one does settle down a little bit, but it does keep a bit of a sheen to it. It really just depends on whether I'm going for a more matte finish or a glossy finish. I'll either grab this one or the Fenty if I'm looking to wear just a regular lipstick. Moving into some liquid lips now, I have the YSL Tatouage Couture Matte Stain in one. I would say that this is the most orange red we have in the list and also the most sheer. You can put a very thin layer on the lips and have it look more like a stain, or you can build it up to be quite opaque. I have one layer of the YSL on my lips. It is very thin, very comfortable, so I guess I wouldn't necessarily call it sheer, but it is very thin and it does feel like it's just a stain on the lips. Once you keep wearing it, you won't even notice that it's on your lips at all. In order for a product to have such a thin formula and not be streaky and weird on the lips, it's pretty amazing. Next up, we have another Fenty product. This is the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in Uncensored. I really love everything about this product. It's the color, the formula, the applicator. Actually, the YSL applicator, I forgot to mention this, is really interesting as well. It's quite pointed, so you can get a really sharp, pointed little cupid's bow and sharp corners as well. This is kind of the opposite, but also creates very sharp lines, but you're gonna have a very rounded lip up top because the little applicator is so rounded. Really just depending on what kind of look you're going for, the applicator does make a difference. I love this product. As you can see, the applicator does really make a very rounded and full looking lip up top, but I really do love everything about this product. It is crazy opaque, goes down to a matte finish, but it's very comfortable, super long lasting, doesn't dry out the lips. I just hate a matte lipstick that just dries out your lips, sucks out all the moisture and makes your lips look just super uncomfortable. The only downside to this product and the next product as well that I'm gonna be talking about is that they are a little bit more difficult to apply. So this is definitely not something that you wanna apply on the go or in a car. You really gotta concentrate and do it when you have a couple minutes to perfect the look. But once it is on, you don't even need to bring this out with you because it just lasts on your lips that much. You might have guessed my last favorite. This is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in Don't Stop. This is my number one lip product from 2017 going into 2018. I love this. I've worn this the most. The formula, the color, the longevity. I've eaten full on meals with this and only like, you know, a teeny tiny bit right here has worn off. Like straight up burgers, y'all. I know I am careful when I'm wearing a lip color and eating, but that in itself is super impressive to me. So. Let's just get to applying. Mm -hmm. 
The NARS and the Fenty definitely have very similar formulas, colors, finishes, so they are quite interchangeable to me at this point. But for the Fenty, like if I really wanna do a rounded lip, I'll go for that one. This one, I can be a little bit more creative with how I want my lip to look because it does have a very pointy and stiff little doe foot applicator. I can do a really round lip as well, but if I wanna do it a little bit pointier like I did right now, then I have the freedom to do that with this applicator. This is truly the first liquid lipstick that I've really fallen in love with. Other liquid lipsticks, I've always found some sort of fault in them, like they start cracking after a while or they wear weird. Some of them start to crumble, very, very strange. But this one goes on your lips like they are your lips. They wear for so long and they never dry out. It really does pass the kiss test as well. Let's see if it's dried enough at this point. Okay, a little bit came off right there. But keep in mind, I just applied it just a couple minutes ago. Once this dries down, it really doesn't transfer. If you're trying to wear one on a date, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up, this one or the Fenty are the ones to go for. They're not like makeout proof, you know. You're not gonna be able to like really go in with any red lipstick, I don't think. But if you wanna do a little kiss, a little smooch, these are okay for that. <laughs> All right, y'all, that is it for my top five red lipsticks. If you wanna see more videos like these, more top fives, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your suggestions. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood. I love y'all, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.